so it's time to take this uh, bumper off and uh, get one on here that will hold the, the nice big new spare tire. And so obviously that old spare tire carrier won't do it. I also need to figure out some way to cover up these holes. I don't want to get rust and water all down in there. So I've got to figure that out. But boxes came in and hunting around. Thought about, you know, could I do something on my own? Could you get one of those build-it kits? All those things. This is way too inexpensive and too high quality to to just not get something like this. So um, so I got the Smitty belt. Uh, we'll get it put on, and uh, it just uh, makes way too much sense. So uh, then trying to do something on my own. So um, hopefully it won't be too difficult to, to put up. It's usually just bolting it up. So we'll see. Um, so this is the, the bumper. It's pretty simple. Um, it comes with... A little template you put the template on like so the notch up and you match up the holes and on a YJ all the holes are already cut for you so you're gonna use this hole in this hole um, so you got four bolts on both sides I think the most difficult thing is with this set right here you're in a really tight spot with the, the gas tank so it's a little tricky um, and the other thing is you're going to put the bolts through a backing plate then they screw directly into the bumper itself so there's no bolt on this end you just got to line it up and then screw them in and then get it all lined up it's got different sets of holes for these are these two are TJ's these are CJ's and you got TJ's and CJ's there so uh, you can use this on multiples so uh, it's pretty heavy three eighths um, which is pretty good and heavy and it seems like it has a decent finish so next trick I'll see if I can balance this thing get it lined up and get the first bolts in to get the thing lined up so that'll be the more challenging parts since I'm by myself but we'll see how it goes so one of the things um, that I like to do whenever I have these things pulled apart is to paint them back up again obviously this is all chipped up and dirty I cleaned it off um, and I like using this um, rust reformer it's a it's a base it's a it's a primer and uh, it also has the reforming stuff like uh, pour 15 or whatever so I spray that on gets it cleaned up makes it look good again and uh, hopefully it takes care of the rust at the same time so anytime I'm just touching stuff up I use this stuff it's nice flat black it works great cheap to have around and uh, you know saves you a little bit over time all right so that wasn't quite as hard as I thought it was gonna be the interesting thing I thought well I'll just balance it right in the middle should be easy to bounce, but it's actually heavier on that end because of the pivot. So I used my, uh, my work chair stool that balanced it out and I was able to just ease this right in. They screw right in. They've got a lot of grease in the holes. So uh, once you get one in, I was able to swing over to the other one, get the other one. So I just have two of them loosely in at the moment out of the four. So I'll put the second ones in, I think, on each side. And then I can start fiddling with the tough ones, which are the middle ones before I start tightening things up. Those are tough just because the gas tank's in the way and you gotta, it'll be interesting getting fingers in there. So, uh, looks pretty good. I, I definitely like the fact it's gonna give me a lot more clearance in the back. My old one had a great shelf to it because it was double wide, but it also had the bar down below and that thing hit a lot coming down off of rocks and down hills and that kind of thing. So it's got a lot more clearance. So I'm happy about that. All right, so this thing's all mounted now. It's a, the outside bolts, outside bolts are just right here. So these things are really easy to get to. They're right on the outside, right there. But the other ones are inside the frame rail on both sides. And uh, while you can touch them with your fingers, you can reach up and touch them with your fingers, there's no way you can get a bolt in. So I had to drop the tank. Um, I did not have to drop it all the way. I just had to undo the bolts and drop it down enough so I can wiggle it around and make enough room to get a couple fingers in there and fiddle them in and get them lined up and then a um, little angle ratchet and got it in. So I gotta put the tank back, in, uh, reconnect the tank, and then I can put the tire carrier on and uh, get this thing wrapped up. So you gotta have some good fingers. If you drop the tank all the way, it would be a piece of cake, but um, with, the, with the way I did it, you gotta have some pretty long fingers and you gotta fiddle a little bit, but you'll be able to get them in. All right, so uh, I've got the, uh, mount here done and uh, there's a couple slots 
on this so that you can set it up just right. With my very little offset on my wheels, this had to be out pretty far, but this kind of back setting of the front holes worked out perfect. Latches in here real nice and snug. Um, you do want to get it up on top. This tab holds this upper bar and this down, so that all comes together. So now uh, the next step is this thing will, in and of itself, rattle around. Whoops, won't right now because I got that in the way. So this will, this thing will rattle like that. So in order to uh, deal with uh, bumps, you get this little guy right here. So you just got to mount this. Now there's no hole for mounting this. You just got to find a good spot where you want to do it. So I'm going to do it right here at the end. And in testing it, it should be really nice and snug against the body right below the door. So I got to drill a little hole and get that thing mounted up. All right. Well, I haven't cleaned up my tools yet, but I got this thing pretty much done. So uh, now that I got the uh, rubber little bumper here on the back. That's you just drill a little hole. Uh, I went three sixteenths with a with a uh, well, I switched bolts, but um, that went in pretty pretty easy. You just mount right up. Tire mounted up just fine. Got that set off in the second set of brackets there. So everything would work and it's on there nice and firm. Plenty of uh, lug nuts. You actually get a set of lug nuts with this, which is kind of nice. And uh, last thing is this thing mounts up nice and firm and slaps right in there um, with that bumper on the back. So it sits up, you know, nice and high and away from the car, away from the Jeep, but uh, fits pretty good for my 33 fits pretty good and uh, I think the last thing it comes with this little pin uh, for latching it so it doesn't come unlatched the little tether I can put on the license plate now a couple of things I really like about this one is the price you know 300 bucks delivered um, hard to beat um, the other big thing is on for the YJ I can still use my gas I don't have to remove relocate the uh, license plate which I, I like that it's almost every other one you've got to relocate that mounted on the bar somewhere then it's not lit um, so like just having it the way it is and um, this is 3 8 steel so um, the ones from uh, from China are a lot uh, thinner um, which you know would reduce weight but this is also a rated tow hitch so uh, there's a lot of pluses to this and it's also a greasable fitting and you can adjust the tension for how tight it is for opening and closing so overall very happy not too difficult to install and uh, we'll see how it holds up hey thanks for watching hey this is you know not that difficult a project uh it takes some time to just get it all done and um you gotta wedge your hands in a few spots to get those things done and if you do have to drop the tank, the gas tank, it's going to add some time to the project for sure. Um, but considering how much weight you're putting on that, and uh, if you were to get pulled out, uh, or, or if you're going to pull something, you're going to want all eight of those bolts uh, attached on the back. So it's worth it to get it and get it done right. Um, you know, this is one of those projects that when you start one thing, bigger tires, it then steamrolls into other things. It just leads in from item to item to item. So uh, having a new way to mount the tires, one thing. Next, uh, I probably have to open up those wheel wells, make a little more room for those tires so I'm not rubbing. And uh, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you uh, next time.